Hi Cancer, welcome to With Love Tarot. I'm back with your energy check-in tarot reading for the rest of April going into May of 2020. Now this is a general reading so it is going to cover different areas and I will be putting out your love reading for May in just a few days so stay tuned. I'm going to be looking at your current energies, your future energies, and then taking some cards of advice for what you need to know now to bring in success during this time period. Are you ready? So before your reading, I took an oracle card for you, and what popped out is psychometry, or sensitivity, and I'm going to hold it up so you can get your messages. Check in with your emotions. You could benefit from complementary healing. Use environmentally friendly products instead of harsh chemicals. You may be drawn to eliminate dairy products and adopt a vegetarian or vegan diet. Very nice. So coming into your current energies, we have the Two of Swords and the Star card here. As always, guys, these are very specific messages, so please take what resonates here and leave the rest. You can also check your rising and moon signs as well. With the Two of Swords, the first message I got is that some of you could be at a place or in a position where you have to make a choice on something, okay? It could be on a small scale or something large, but it's almost like maybe you have to choose between two different things or two different options or two different pathways even, okay? The other message here is that you're also on a journey of some sort, and I always get that vibe with this card in this deck because, as you can see, this woman is kind of really facing her destiny or looking out into the horizon, right? And maybe figuring out where to go next. Now, there's a wolf behind her and I always get the feeling of a lone wolf. So some of you could be feeling that you're going it alone or maybe you're even walking this journey or walking this pathway in life during this time period alone. Not for all of you, but that is the message coming through. But it's also a very powerful card, okay? With this, the message here is that you are your best guide too. Sometimes you have to go it alone or walk alone to really get in touch with your inner voice, right? You are your best guide around this time period. You could also be in the energy of trying to keep something in balance or keep something in check with the yin yang symbol on her shirt okay perhaps some of you feel like you're being pulled in opposite directions and you have to really stay the course or stay focused right to uh, make the right decision in something it's the natural energy of life the natural ebb and flow the ups the downs the dark and the light right so maybe you're trying to balance that out with the star card here, another powerful card for your current energies. This is, guys, this is really nice. So some of you, actually this is just confirming the message, really could be focused on keeping the peace in a situation and, or just general in your life, you know. You're not about negativity. You're trying to avoid something, avoid drama, or even avoid things, energy, people that could be uh, trying to bring you down right? It could just be on a more general level, like I said, that you really are trying to balance something out. You're tempering something. This person here is pouring out liquid, you know, so also getting in touch with your emotions, your more emotional side here, right? There's also a healing energy and also a feeling of positivity as well, right? There's a light that surrounds you. The feeling I just got is that some of you are protected. You could have somebody looking out for you, whether that's an actual person or a guardian angel with the wolf here and the star and the light that surrounds you. Okay, so very powerful, very nice energy here. Coming into your future energies, we have two of wands and the ace of pentacles. When I drew this card, I said, wow, because it's right next to the two of swords on the top row, okay? So this confirms everything I just said with the Two of Swords, guys. This is definitely about making a choice on something, whether that's a choice between two different pathways or options, okay? In some decks, the person is actually depicted at a literal fork in the road, okay? And he or she has to choose which pathway to take, right? So this could be some of the same energy that you're going to take into your future or by the time you watch this reading, you are experiencing this now, okay? And also too, if you'll notice, 
this person has the same yin yang symbol on his shirt right so it's a really powerful repeating message it's synchronicity and some of you really are working on balancing something out it could be that with the two of wands this is a doorway to success the doors are opening for you and you're going to be in a place where no matter what you choose, no matter what pathway or door you choose to open, it's going to work out for you. Okay, that's also the message with the Two of Wands. It's a very positive card, right? With the yin yang symbol appearing twice here, it's a message for you. It's like a message from the universe that it's all going to work out. And maybe you just have to um, trust in the process and also work on going with the flow, right? Like I said, it's the natural ebb and flow of life. So if even if some of you are experiencing some negative energy, there's always a positive to that, right? For every down, there is an up. With the Ace of Pentacles as the other card for your future energies, now this kept popping out. This is a new beginning, guys. So for some of you out there, this is going to be a choice that some of you are faced with. Or like I said, or even deciding on now, it could be about taking on a new opportunity, a new job, a new project, something like that. But it's going to be something that's going to change your life for the better. It's a positive omen. Okay, it could be a sum of money comes in for you, a windfall on a smaller scale or a larger scale. Perhaps something that is owed to you comes through or, you know, you get an offer. Okay, but whatever this is, this is really nice. With the Two of Wands, it could be, like I said, that you have to choose to take on something new or maybe even a choice you make leads to a new beginning in the Ace of Pentacles. For your cards of advice, the first we have here is the Magician card. Love the Magician for those of you who watch me. So for some of you, what you need to hear now is that you have what it takes to manifest what you want into your life, whether you realize it or not. And perhaps that's the message that you need to hear, is that you are enough. You have to trust in your own abilities, your talents, and what you have, okay? Because the magician has everything that he or she needs to manifest what they want, right? They have the sword, the pentacle, the cup, the wand. And also, too, the message in this deck in particular is that if some of you are experiencing a blockage or you feel like something that you want is not coming in quickly enough you have to silence any type of doubt or negative self-talk you know we all have that inner voice that kind of taunts us oh you know they it puts it plants a seed of negativity somehow you have to silence that okay if some of you are experiencing that like you've hit a brick wall whether you have to meditate or actually write out um, what it is that you want or the goals that you want to accomplish and really believe in your own talents and abilities okay that's the message here with the four of swords very nice i just noticed that it's confirming that message i love when it happens yeah this is about taking a time out and perhaps even silencing the negative chatter that we're all bombarded with on a daily basis, okay? Other message here is perhaps some of you need to take a literal break, right? So maybe like a me day, or if some of you are working too hard, now is really the time, if you can, to take some time for yourself, right? Also too, I love this card in particular, Remember I said that with the wolf, with the two of swords, this person is protected. Well, definitely here, guys. So this is coming full circle. You definitely have somebody that is looking out for you. This person is sleeping, but the four wolves are watching this person, right? They're protecting him or her. So it's really nice energy. So I'm going to clarify everything here to get a little bit more specific. With the Three of 
of cups clarifying your current energies this is really nice it's more nice energy here especially with the star card here so some of you like i said with the two of swords um, really could be focusing on yourself and maybe even returning your energy to happier times, okay? Perhaps you're also getting together with family or friends or could even be a celebration for some of you too within your family or small circle. But it's really, really nice energy. For a small percentage of you out there, this could represent that you do have a reunion with somebody, okay? Not necessarily on a romantic level but it could be because three of cups is sometimes my reunion card especially with the star card here this is like repairing something so some of you could be either reconnecting with somebody or you know even repairing a connection perhaps even after a period of no contact with the two of swords because the other message here now that we have the three of cups could mean that you are currently in a state of inaction. Like I said, it's about deciding where to go next, but it could also be about not making a decision around this time period. It could stand for even a stalemate um, in a connection. So perhaps some of you are going to get out of that energy or somebody, by the time you watch this reading, um, reaches out or makes contact, right? That's for some of you out there. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. With the Six of Wands clarifying your future energies, I love it, guys. You have a beautiful reading. This is success. Okay, so not only do I see a new beginning here or an offer, it's going to be a success for many of you out there. Okay, so perhaps, and like I said, remember, with the Two of Wands, it's like whatever door you walk through or whatever pathway you choose, it's going to work out. Okay, so for some of you out there, if you are faced with the decision um, just know, just have faith that it's something good is going to come in for you. Okay. And it's likely going to be a success, right? So this is like in the energy of choosing which way to go and then it working out, right? And it could be something pretty big guys. It could have something to do with your job, a promotion or something in school, you know, but whatever this is, this is an offer, a new beginning, very, very nice. It could be something too that if you've been working on something for a while, you finally see it come to fruition, right? With the Nine of Swords and Death card clarifying your cards of advice, these are very specific messages coming through here. So please take whatever fits your storyline the most, right? Don't make it fit if this is not resonating with what you're currently going through but nine of swords guys there's no mistaking what this is about this is about worrying all right and staying up and you know the thoughts that keep us up at night right and this is really confirming with the four of swords so if some of you really need to take a break in something or a time out or meditate now is really the time to do it especially if some of you are experiencing this state of mind okay make sure that you're really taking care of yourself because it could be blocking success or a new opportunity or more positive energy trying to come through here. So with the death card here, this could also indicate a change, could be connected with the nine of swords, right? So some of you could have gone through a breakup or a loss of some sort. I realize not all of you have, but for those of you who are going through something difficult, especially with the Nine of Swords present. What this is saying is to try to release some of that energy. I realize that's very hard, okay? But just at least be aware that it could be holding you back in a situation because the Death card is about uh, embracing some type of change, although it's hard to do, right? This is about the natural life cycles that we all go through, um, growing as a person, you know, going through something difficult sometimes, but then coming out stronger in the end, right? Um, but also realizing that everybody goes through change, everybody goes through loss, okay? Kind of this similar energy with the Two of Swords and the Two of Wands with the yin-yang energy. You know, having faith and realizing that for every loss, there's a gain. For every dark period, there is a period of light. For every period of sadness, there is happiness. For every failure, there is success. 
Okay, so some of you need to realize that, right? Or at least hear that message. And with the magician card, also tying this all in together, realize and have faith in your own abilities and talents that you are enough and you have enough. Cancer, I wish you a beautiful rest of your April. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. With love.